Captive insurance companies provide liquidity to the businesses when it's needed the most. And the key to the captive is its financial flexibility. We just came through 2020, which is arguably one of the worst business climates and events to hit not only the U.S. market, but the global market. So in 2020, businesses had to change their employee locations. We're part of a company that has 2,800 employees. And to go from everybody working in offices to everyone working from home in a two-week period of time was a huge disruption to the business. Many of our clients, they had to change their manufacturing process because they weren't getting in the raw materials that they needed. So they're like, oh, well, we have to wait for this, but let's do a workaround. Let's change our process. You had businesses where I, we live in California, businesses that the government came in and said, you're done. We still have most restaurants, bars, nail salons, hair salons. They're all still shut down. California hasn't reopened anything. Well, they do. And then they shut it again for, you know, after a couple of days. Since the pandemic began, RMA has released over $50 million to small and mid-sized businesses from their captive insurance companies, providing liquidity when they need it the most. How can a captive do that? Well, let's go through a few of the ways that captives can provide liquidity to the business owners when they need it. One of the first ways is intercompany loans. Why would they go to the captive for an intercompany loan? Well, it's quick and easy to get a loan from the captive when the, when the banking market is completely shut down or in turmoil. You can submit the documentation to the Department of Insurance to get the qualified loan. You do, you charge, our business clients have been charging an interest rate. So it's done just like a market rate loan. And then when they get the money back from either the paycheck protection loans or Main Street lending or some other stuff, then they just paid back their captive insurance. Company. Or many times it was they were waiting for the financing, but they needed the cash now. So we submitted all that documentation to the Department of Insurance and got the approval and the liquidity when they needed it the most. Another way they got liquidity is they applied for and received approval for the captive to declare a dividend. Dividends from the C-Corp went back to the business owner personally, and then they had that money that they could then reinvest in their business to keep the doors open and to keep the business moving on. Another way we've been very effective in providing liquidity to businesses is through the premium financing of their captive premium. Instead of having to pay all their premiums up in the traditional market all at once, the captive can take payments over a period of time. And then more importantly, if they've been putting the money in their captive for a few years, now they have excess capital and surplus. This allows us to go back to, the, to our actuaries and ask for premium discounts, or they do premium holidays, or basically said, hey, we're not going to pay this year because we have all of this extra money in our captive. Now, all of that has to be approved by the Department of Insurance, which it's easy to do. Another way it provides liquidity is it can pay for risk management services that the business needs and the business has been paying for. Let's say that, there's, that they have a risk consultant. Let's say they're doing an engineering study. Let, you know, they, the businesses have normal expenses in their daily business that are really risk management services. So those can be moved over to the profit and loss statement as expenses to the captive insurance company, because that's ultimately what they are. Another way that's been very powerful is creating more surplus in the captive insurance company, which allows them to declare larger dividends to themselves. Now, one way you can do that is you can offload some of your older liabilities to third parties. There are companies out there like Berkshire Hathaway. So let's say you have a bunch of claims on the balance sheet of your captive from 2014-15 and, and you're keeping large reserves there. 
you could pay a company like Berkshire Hathaway to take that those liabilities, those claims off your books, and it moves it to them. That releases reserves. The captive can go and buy reinsurance to protect. So it, it says the maximum amount of loss we're going to take is $250,000. You go buy reinsurance above that, which then decreases the reserves and increases the surplus of the captive insurance company. We've also been successful in going in and reviewing all the claims that were on the books of the captive insurance company. Let's say a claim is closed or nearly closed and it's and it, there's a large reserve. By lowering that reserve, it's like a teeter-totter. You lower the reserve on a claim, increases the surplus that's available to the captive insurance company. Now, of course, this needs actuarial approval and regulatory approval anytime you're messing with the reserves and surpluses of a captive insurance company. We've been also able to create more surplus for some captive insurance companies by going back to the Department of Insurance and asking for adjustments on the premium to surplus ratio. So let's say the normal in a, in a normal year, the premium to surplus ratio is three to one. Going back to the regulators to say, look, you know, we have we have some surplus here, but we want to go five to one if you get regulatory approval to do that, which we've been able to do for a short term, you know, is, is a great solution. Increasing the surplus, which then allows the captive to declare more dividends or be able to reduce the premiums it's charging to the client, thus increasing the liquidity on the business side because they don't have all of these larger expenses to the captive insurance company. When the surplus goes up and the premium goes down, that provides more liquidity. Increased surplus also gives more money for dividends or short-term intercompany loans that that our clients have been using in order to make sure that their businesses are as efficient and cash rich as they need them to be during this very, very awful time of the pandemic. Thanks for watching. We just released our 2021 Ultimate Guide to Captive Insurance Companies. Put a comment down below and we'll be glad to send it out to you and would love your feedback. Thanks again. My name's Wes Sirk. I'm the president of Risk Management Advisors a risk strategies company. Thanks for watching.